Hello everyone, my name is Lacey Noel, and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite things ever, and that is Funko Pops. Now, this is one of the full sets that I recently got, or not so recently, because I got these guys um, over the course of last year's Kamikaze, I believe, yes, and then um, also Christmas. So, let's get started. With these guys, I am really happy to say that I got all four of the monsters! There's one missing! And I'm really, really upset that they didn't put Marilyn Munster in there because she's like... She is such a cool detail to the whole show. Because she's like your normal, everyday, like, girl next door kind of, you know, early 60s kind of person, you know what I mean? And with the monsters, like, they're like kooky and crazy, but in their world, she's abnormal, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's amazing. And it was like, I think that the monsters was one of like the first, um, I don't know, like creepy, scary things to make scary adorable, you know what I mean? And I just like, I'm in love with the show and it's just, I don't know, it's just so cute. Like, it's the, everything from the makeup to the, um, set design to the costumes and the acting, like it's just, it makes my heart happy and I'm so glad that I have unfortunately all four of these guys. I wish they had Marilyn Monster. And I love the monster so much that I decided to I am also, if you guys, you know, didn't know, um, I am also a artist who draws and my I guess my specialties genre, if you will, is my um is realism. And you know I have my little portfolio right here. And, uh, I'm going to do a whole set with all five monsters, yes, with Marilyn too. And I just got done with my first one. This is Herman. Hermie. He's so cute. He took a long time too because I wanted to make sure that I got every single little feature of Fred Wynn's face. And... I don't know, I just love his smile and his beautiful eyes and the makeup that Carl Silvera did. Like, it's just, Herman Munster's like, such a masterpiece and I wanted to kind of, I wanted, em I wanted to emulate that energy that Herman Munster has in this drawing and I'm so glad I do him. He I don't know, there's just something about his doofy smile that makes me so happy. He's so adorable and I, I just love him and adore him so much. So that's the first out of five drawings that I'm going to do, and um, if you guys want to keep up with that, I suggest that you guys follow my Instagram, which is at Miss Lacey Noel, and you know, I'll put the handles in the description and probably around here somewhere. And uh, also I have a DeviantArt, which I have yet to update, but I'll update it soon. I have my Tumblr, which I put my art on, and all sorts of that. So I'll keep you guys updated with, you know, all those little handles. So let's actually get to the real deal right here, like the Funko Pops. Um, first I'll do Herman. He is super cute. I love his little outfit that they gave him. And this is, you know, his little name on the side. The back with the whole set and a picture of the monsters. And then his little character design right here. Now I'm actually going to take this guy out of the box. I got him for Christmas. Actually, the first ones that I got were... Ow, I almost broke my nail. <laughs> that would suck because these are my real nails. Um, I got Lily and Grandpa first from Kamikaze. And then I got um, Herman and Eddie for Christmas. Alright, so... Aw, oh, he's cute. This is actually my first time taking him out of the box. Oh, oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so tiny. He's really light too. That's really, really cool. Oh, he's got like a scar on his back or something. Probably from like production or something like that. But um, he is super cute. I love that they added the little bolts to the side of his neck. Or is it on his neck? Oh, it's on his little head on the Funko, but his little mullet is cool. His mullet. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. But, um, 
they even have his little staples right here, which are really neat. I tried to draw that in the drawing too, but it was like a little bit difficult to do that because his hair kind of covers it. And then he has his infamous little scar right here and his really intense brow bone. And I really like how they painted beneath the brow bone to make, to accentuate a little bit more. What I wish though is that, um, that they put a little bit of paint right here, just like in the middle or something to accentuate the brow bone just a tad. Cause I don't know, like I can't really like tell off the bat if he has it or not from afar, but um, I love his droopy eyelids and I love the little black lips that he has. His outfit's super cute too. I love the I love his little suit. Like he's all like crazy and stuff, and then he has just like kind of like a normal like I guess like dad attire kind of suit with a little sweater, and then he has his little you know creepers, you know, because he's super goth. <laughs> and then I love the detail that they put here with the uh, the wrists. If you can see that, they're little stitches. And also, they even put like little details on the bolts to make them look more like bolts. That's Herman. He's cool. And I like that they kept his head pretty square right here. He's cute. I just want to put it in my pocket. I want to like I want to take Lily out of the box too, cause she's like I like the design, like the um the design that they put into these Funko Pops. Cause these are really good. Oh, actually, with the shadow that um, the box casts on Herman, you can see the brow bone better. Cause it was a little bit, I don't know. I'm, I spent, I spent like, what, 20 hours on that drawing. So I'm like, a little bit like, oh. Um, let's see. Let's take her out of the box. Okay. Ah, oh my God, she almost fell out. Okay. So, oh, she's so cute. She doesn't have feet. Yeah. Probably because her dress is so long. But, I, oh, cool. Okay, so they put this white streak through her hair in the front, but also in the back, which is super cool. And her makeup is on point with her eyebrows. And they put little lashes on her, too. And I like how they did these in color. However, I wish that they did these in a, um, a grayscale form too, just like they did with the Universal Monsters. They put them in a pack of four and released them in grayscale, which I really wish they did with the monsters since they're, you know, mainly known for being in grayscale and everything. But, you know, it's all good. I love these guys. And the dress is really, really cute as well. I love the detail that they captured with it. And then they got her little bat necklace and her little whimsical hands. I love her hands. And her little, it kind of, it's, um, her sleeves are rather reminiscent of bat wings. And yeah, she's super cute. I love her. I love that they gave her little red lips too. Super, super cute. And also before I put her away. I'll show you the details of the box. Pretty much the same song and dance. And I'm moving on to Grandpa. Grandpa's really cute. <laughs> the Ted Cruz of the family. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't like to think that he looks like Ted Cruz. Yeah, I love him. It's a little dirty on the side, but he's really cool. I love how they did his eyebrows and the little white hairs on the side of his head. His little smile is cute too. I love the fact that they kind of gave him, they tried to emulate the shape of his face too by giving him a little chin because he's got cheeks and he's got cute little eyes, little red lips. And I love the detail that they put into his outfit. That's really, really cool. And then he has a little cape on the back. 
His little pose is funny too. The inside of his uh, little cape is red. I wonder if that cape is Louis Vuitton. <laughs> it might be. Oh, well. um, but he's cute. And I love the different skin colors they gave him. Still wish they would have done like a grayscale, like um, exclusive rare variant with these guys. They're super cool. And then last but definitely not least, we have the adorable Eddie Monster. And before I take him out of the box, I'm going to show you guys the box. I love the fact that they included Wolfel. It's so cute. Alright. It kind of feels like Christmas, but like, I already opened these up. It's so funny too because as a collector I don't really like to take these out of the box because like, you know, value. <laughs> but um, I don't know, like it's really cool like taking them out and feeling them and kind of seeing what they're all about in the flush or in the plastic, however. Um, let's see. He's a little dirty on the back of his head too. But, I love that he has his widow's peak, I guess it's called, yes. <laughs> but he is super cute with his little widow's peak. His eyebrows, and actually he does have bushier eyebrows, and I like that they gave him little thicker eyebrows there. And he, like, I'm so glad that they included Wolfolk, because he's so cute. And it makes me wonder, like, they remembered Wolfolk, but not Marilyn? But, um, you know. I'm like, I'm like forever gonna be sour about Marilyn not <laughs> being in the set, but you know. And I am drawing her in my set too, because she's like, she's such a good contrast with the family. I love that he, they included his little Peter Pan color with color, color, with his little bow. And his little outfit is purple. And he's just so cute. He's such a cute little guy. And I love the fact that they included his little elf ears. <laughs> little pointy ears. They're so cute. Little Fluff is adorable. Totes adores. That's pretty much it for this set. I really, really like this set as a whole. They make each other look really, really good. And, you know, I have, like, my little things that I wish that you know, they did with this set, but it's all good. I like, I really, really like all these things here. And also, I like the fact that it, the, um, the plastic doesn't clamp down to the other part of the plastic because it makes taking them out of the box a lot easier. But I think with the newer, more recent models of their Funko Pops in general, they have those little clamp things. So when you try, when you, if you're a collector or if you just don't want to mess up the box, be very careful when you're taking them out because um, you can destroy the plastic by accidentally making the wrong move. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll show you guys all four of them again. A beautiful, happy family. I have like hair all up on my face now. I'm turning into a werewolf. Oh my god, that'd be so cute. A blue haired werewolf. Spirit animal. I could be like a Pomeranian like my dogs. That'd be so cute. But anyway, this is the full set. And if you guys can find these anywhere, um, the prices are rising for these as far as value. And if you're a fan of the Monsters and a fan of Funko Pops, I suggest that you try to get these as soon as possible because they are vaulted. So definitely get these before they skyrocket in price. And, you know, I'm. I don't know, like, I'm, as time goes on, I'm getting more and more fascinated with the monsters, so you might see more monstery kind of projects for me as far as drawing, of course, drawing, because I'm doing a set thing right now, but, um, but maybe in dressing up as well, who knows, so we'll just see what happens in the future, and I'm super, super happy I got these guys, because I'm a fan of the show, and, you know, I will see you guys next time. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.